Hello everybody, thank you for joining us here. My name is Dave Milray and I am the Central District Sales Manager as well as the Canadian District Sales Manager for American Film and Machinery, AFM, as well as our sister company, Eastie Enterprises. Today we're excited to talk about our LX150 shrink sleeve applicator alongside our WSN self-contained steam tunnel. Two items that we're seeing a lot of traction with right now that really give you a solution to replace printed containers and pressure sensitive labels by applying a shrink sleeve to the container. Now a shrink sleeve is going to give you 360 degrees of marketing. It's going to make sure that your product is going to pop off the shelf so that when you're walking down the aisles at the grocery store and you see this, you will be more incentivized to buy it because it looks sharp. You can add different features to it, a lot of different things that we can do with the label itself to make that more appealing. So again, our LX150, this is our flagship full body shrink sleeve applicator. When I say flagship, this is going to cover about 90% of the applications that we see in the market. It has the ability to go from two containers a minute all the way up to 300 containers a minute. Short, tall, fat, skinny, this has a lot of adjustability. It's really driven by your container, so make sure that you let us know your container dimensions and really what you're trying to do and we can help make sure we're putting you in the right solution. So we're gonna talk about a few of the features that are included with this machine. What's included with our LX150, which is pretty neat, as it's not a standard with many of our other competitors, is going to be our dual film unwind. Now the dual film unwind is a great station for you to be able to apply film, have another roll queued up for your next production run. So if you're gonna be running SKU A at the beginning of the day and SKU B by lunchtime, this gives you the ability to splice the film on the fly, run it through the machine, and continue running. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna minimize downtime, that's gonna maximize your output. Okay, from there we'll follow the film. The film is traveling through a series of dancer bars, that's gonna maintain tension throughout the film as it goes through the machine. A few different options we can throw on top. Feel free to reach out to us and we can talk a little bit more about our perforation units, some of the printers that we can put up there, and a few of the more advanced features of this machine. Again, this is a really feature-rich machine. Third piece that's included with our equipment is our timing screw assembly and the timing screw. Now what that's going to do is that's going to separate, that's going to space out your products to allow for effective and efficient application. So we're going to keep moving over here and we're going to take a look at the applicator itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to hit the stop button here so I can open this up, okay? Nice feature of this machine, we have interlock guarding. So if I were to open that up while the machine is in operation, it will trigger the sensor, it will shut down the machine. What that means is that you don't have employees losing fingers, you don't have employees putting their hands where they shouldn't be. So again, I've stopped the machine, now I'm going to open everything up. So as you look inside, right off the bat, you can see that everything is easily accessible. So if I need to make any adjustments in terms of settings for a mandrel, or if I need to swap anything out, I can get to the back of the machine very easily. So to continue with the film path, the film is going to travel through the machine and it's going to be opened by the mandrel. So the mandrel is the most important part of this process. This mandrel has the film threaded on it. Here's a naked mandrel so you can get a better idea of what a shrink sleeve applicator mandrel looks like. This is our bullet style mandrel and if you can see here, I'm going to jump in. What's happening is this fin is being used to open the film. So that's gonna release some of the tension that's already inside of the film. It's gonna take it from that flat position and start opening it up to form whatever size container you're gonna have. It's gonna travel through these drive rollers that are gonna keep everything stable and in place. And we're gonna pass through our cutting assembly. The cutting assembly is essentially a series of six blades that are going to fit inside of a small channel on the mandrel to cut that label and allow for an individual impression to be dropped onto a container. Again, this is where the, tie, the, the cutting assembly is going to happen in this gap, and that's happening right here. So a series of six blades will spin, will cut that, and will leave you with your next impression. You can see here that that, that label has already been cut. That label is sitting there waiting to be introduced to those drive wheels, and that introduction will be facilitated by the next impression that's coming down. So there's pressure that's going to be applied to that from the top, those drive wheels will spit that out and we are going to be hitting that on the fly with a moving target. We've got some photo eye registration here to take into account the container that's coming through 
and really maximize that timing. So from there, we're gonna to continue to the final portion that's included with our unit, and that's gonna be our label brush down. The label brush down is going to ensure that that label is in the correct position, sitting flush to the conveyor for a perfect shrink as it goes through the tunnel. Now, something we've gotten really excited about over the past two years is a USN self-contained steam tunnel. Now, when I say self-contained, what I mean is this boiler is included in the frame of the machine. Traditionally, the boiler would have to be outside of the facility, costing all the way up to $20,000. You would need to plumb in the steam. You would need to do a lot of things to your facility just to use this machine, right? Just to use steam and to activate that technology. What we've done is taken all of those question marks out of the picture. So with this unit, all you're gonna need is a hose. You could go get the hose at a Home Depot if you needed to, and you're gonna be able to operate this machine by driving in water, okay? We're gonna produce about 80 PSI steam pressure here with this specific boiler, which is more than enough to give us the shrink that we're gonna need. I like to think of this kind of a rule of thumb, anything under 100 containers per minute is gonna fit into this, this thing's wheelhouse. Okay, other features with this machine that we like that add some adjustability, some customization, if you would, are gonna be So you can see here, there are easily manifolds. So we've got two on each side with a total of four. The manifolds are bars that are gonna run from here to the end of the machine with some holes inside of it to distribute the steam that's being pumped through the machine. Okay, you can see here with minimal tooling, I can adjust the size and the position of these manifolds to really maximize the shrink. Now, why would you want to maximize the shrink? Let's say you've got a container that's similar to this trigger bottle, or you've got a container that's similar to this bottle of, uh, of beverage. We don't need that much shrink down here as a, right? We need a lot more shrink here. So being able to adjust those manifolds is gonna be able to concentrate that heat and that steam at the top. Similarly with a trigger bottle, you really wanna get a good shrink around the neck. As you can see, there's a large difference from the base to the neck. By adjusting those manifolds, you will be able to take that into account. A really cool feature of this machine. Now, the unit that you're looking at right now is our extended Gen S. So the extended Gen S comes with the tunnel as well as an additional 10 feet of conveyance. Now bang for your buck, I don't think you're gonna find a better deal for that additional 10 feet of conveyance. What that's gonna give us the ability to do is mount all of our bracketry, mount all of our tooling that's needed to run the machine directly to the conveyor. We also have a steam catch underneath that's got a drip pan underneath that's gonna catch the steam, that's gonna make sure that everything is running smoothly, that your production floor is staying clean, and that you're gonna continue running your product. Okay, great, great, great product here. If you have a printed film, I highly, highly recommend you take a look at our steam tunnel because that, again, is going to give you that best shrink with the 360 degrees at any given time. Finally, we've got our extension table, which we will get into in a little bit when we run a test. It's a great solution to bring a lot of product into a very small amount of space. So we've got a 36 and a 48 inch version. We've got a full stainless like you're seeing here. We also have a stainless in a painted bottom. So a couple different options on our accumulation capabilities, but definitely a cool add-on to any line, whether it be on the back side or the front side, to make sure that we've got a station to collect everything, okay? So finally here, we're gonna run this machine, okay? So what I have to do to run the machine is click the screw button. When I click the screw button, that is going to activate our timing screw here, which is going to bring out the groups of two and introduce it to the applicator. Now, as you can see, we're hitting a moving target with this shrink sleeve applicator. And we are relying on the technology from our brush down unit to make sure that that label is sitting flush to the conveyor. So we've got it in a perfect place. As it travels through the steam tunnel, you can see that we are ending up with a great, great product, a great look. So if you look at the, zoom in on the value twin pack here and see how clean those lines are, how straight they are. Or if you look at some of the text down here, if you can see how clean that text is, how straight it is, that's all thanks to the technology that Steam is able to provide. So we're able to get that shrink, we're able to make things look really nice. 
And it's something that we're excited about. We're seeing an increased amount of shrink sleeves in the market, whether it be replacing the shortage of cans that we're currently seeing at the end of 2020 here, or whether it be just making sure that we want to do something different. We want our product to pop. We don't want people to walk by. We want people to stop when they see it on the shelves. This is a great solution to give you top to bottom marketing and add a new look to your product. So again, thank you all for showing up here and, and watching this video. My name is Dave Milray. Feel free to reach out to us on the web at www.afmsleeves.com. We'd be happy to help answer any questions for you. Thank you.